Okay, now we're going to walk you through doing the analysis on the absorbance uh, fleet read we did today. If we open up the first file, that'll be the latest run that we did. When we open it up, we're going to see the uh, three rows of samples and one row of blanks that ran in the test run we just did. On the left side, you're going to see this is where all of the calculations are done and all of the data store is done in this area here. Down here will be the details for each data store, and then of course the microplate view is here. Um, you can uh, change from positive and negatives versus data versus the spectrum by clicking on any of these three buttons here. So if we want to see a particular spectrum, we just double click on it, and it will open up and show you that particular well, and show you the spectrum from whatever wavelength you scan from. This is from 240 to 400 in this range here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the microplate view and we're going to apply our template we created this morning for the analysis. So in the template, we're going to just simply click on template and we're going to click on pathway absorbance. What it's going to do in just a couple of seconds is it's going to preload and do all the calculations that we did for this particular plate to be able to find DNA concentration, to be able to find ratio between 260 and 280, and to be able to show us the blank values as compared to the raw measured values so we can assign uh, positives and negatives to possibly rerun certain wells if the, the concentrations are too low. So those are all completely editable and um, the templates are awesome because you can see a huge amount of calculations that are being done right now and they're all done with, the, with one button. So when we, when we run the calculation like we did, you're going to see three different levels of data. And they're corresponding to a color, and the color is corresponding to a particular calculation captured on this side here. So the first one, green, is going to be the ratio of blank corrected 260 to blank corrected 280. You can see the details down in here. So it's, it's dividing 260 by 280 and giving us a ratio. Anything 1.7 and above is considered pure DNA. So you can see the values in here, 1.5, 1 1.6, 1. 1. Uh, here's a 2, 1.5, they're all pretty good. Um, the second level down is going to be the blue series, which in this case is the calculated DNA concentration. So this has all been uh, multiplied by 50 since we had a 1 to 50 microliter DNA to water concentration in each of the wells. And these values are very great, uh, 1,500, 200, so on, all the way down. I think the smallest one we've got here is 3.5. Um, so you can see it just did a phenomenal job of calculating DNA concentrations right on the fly. The red series here is showing our raw data. So you can see raw data for 260 in red. And it's showing us the blank data as well. So the blanks are looking to be about 0 0.14, 0 0.15. Um, and you can see this lowest value, this 359, is a very close value at 1.47. So there are certain numbers in here that are too low for us to accurately identify as a positive versus the background. So we can go up to displaying those as positive and negatives by clicking on this icon here. And that quickly shows us all of these wells are green in the positive range and don't need to be looked at. And there are three that are above a certain value that we have set. Setting those values is right here at this button here. When you click on this button, it allows you to go in and modify what value you want to be as a threshold for the red or the, the negative. So uh, we put in 0.17, which is a reasonable number in this case, based on the background values. And it came up with a quick view of what is good and what is bad in those wells. Um, so that's the data there. Um, again, it's all done based on the calculations and the template work. If I want to export this data, I can click on the Excel file and it will automatically dump, dump this data in an Excel format. If I'd like to look at it in a table view, I can click on the table view here and I can click Excel and it will dump, on it, dump it in a table view format. Um, again, all this data is easily accessible. Um, if I'd like to look at the standard curve for this particular data, we can go in and look at standard curve data if we have standard curve data shown. Um, and uh, have it registered as a, as a curve. In this case, you can see that the curve is done based on the DNA concentration values in OD and concentration of the DNA. 
if you click on show fit results, we should have a, a perfect one result because we're using the Beer's Law for calculating our standard linear regression fits. So back to the data. All you're going to do is just simply choose the data you're interested in seeing by clicking on these boxes here. And that will allow you to uh, run through whatever data you do want to see and, um, and get us back to walking through the menus. Um, in this